Welcome to Closet Coaching. I was having this memory today of this time, this is years ago, decades ago, um, but I had had this encounter with a friend and she, we had this argument and she basically had said something to me about me that was that, that I was like, I was thrown. I was just like, what? Like this was a, an accusation that wasn't true. And I felt extremely misrepresented and misheard and mis misunderstood, which was always my trigger, like being misunderstood still is. And I remember like walking away from the conversation, understanding that I had like no control over what had just happened and also like what she thought. Like I remember thinking like I'm helpless to, because I can't change her mind. Like there was something there and I was furious. I was so angry and I was so helpless. And I remember this feeling viscerally, like I can go back to it in a minute. It's like this feeling of of this thing in my body. And at the time, of course, I had no, I wasn't paying attention to like how my body felt, but I just remember feeling it and, or what it felt like. And I remember that I needed to do something with it. Like I was like, this is too big for me. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. So I, it was, I needed to, pro I needed to fling it away. I needed to like project it somewhere, which is essentially like what my coping mechanism always was, was just to like project. So the very first thing that I like saw was my body. And it was just like, oh, yes, I hate my body. Oh, and I like threw it there. And that's when I had this great, I came up with this grand restriction plan. And it was like this thing. And I was like, I'm going to restrict. And it was this complete reaction to this, this incident that had nothing to do with my body at all. And I had turned it because I needed to put that energy somewhere. And I needed to fling it on something that I thought deserved an equal amount of venom. And it was my body and it just got, and I, so I started with this whole huge restriction thing which not long after became a huge binge thing because uh, it was like holding a beach ball underwater. It was like taking that energy that needed to be dealt with in some productive way and, try and like pushing it underwater and holding it there and doing that for as long as I possibly could, realizing that I wasn't feeling any better and it wasn't actually solving my helplessness problem or the issue with my friend. And, the bench and it, that energy wasn't going to die. Like it was just going to it was just going to sit here like needing my attention all the time. And so it eventually like, you know, it flings back out. It's cre that, that the effect of a beach ball, like flying out of the water is the part of that is created by the energy we have just created by pushing it underneath left to its own devices. It would just float. But that energy I took to like suppress something thinking it was going to help the way I felt, you know, ultimately backfired on me and became this binge and it became this huge binge strict binge restrict cycle. Um, this is back when I was like 17 years old that I, that I'm re recalling Maybe it was 18. And I just was thinking about it. I was just thinking about how often I see that and, and see like that, that need to project, right. That need to take this energy about something and put it somewhere and like fling it on something and how that ends up coming back to us. And, and what we assume the problem is it's about our bodies or our willpower, but essentially it's actually this transmission of energy into something that it didn't belong to in the first place. Um, and I just felt like talking about it today. So there you go. I will see you tomorrow.